Greetings and salutations, I'm Kev. Welcome back to this let's play of Sid Meier's Colonization. Now we're about to get attacked by the Apache. I would be very surprised if they didn't. There we go. That should be wiped out, yeah. Awesome. I mean, it's all quite fair that they get a chance to attack us too. I mean, we've, we've been rather mean to them. Not gonna lie. Uh, free colonist number three. We're gonna wait because there's gonna be more. Now the farmer has been trained. Gonna keep piling on people here until we can get get them some better professions. Uh, you trained another farmer, that's good, another two points. Again, I could have tried to retrain them into you know, preachers instead, but that's gonna be so much farting back and forth, that's one thing, and uh, it wouldn't change the score. Well, it would in the long run, it would mean more crosses, obviously. But, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna fill the colonies. Maybe a shop, yeah. Um, cigars are worth more, so let's go with that. Yeah, let's go with the cigar factory. I need the small shops first, so tobacco is shop, and then we can upgrade this one to a factory. Weavers and cotton planters trained, excellent. Uh, let's see now. You. You're gonna be somewhere else. And you're gonna make cotton. You're gonna make cloth. Let's see now. Wait a second. Um. So I, I would have room for a fur trader here. Let's see now. Okay, you guys are gonna leave, obviously. So if I switch you over to fur, that would be two excess food. Huh. Okay, so I could use a fur trapper down here after all. I could. Or I could just use it as a breeding, breeding ground for horses. It's gonna be close to all the front lines, so why not? Well, that's probably a better idea, to be honest. Especially since we are making much on coats at all at this point. We're making what? How much was it? One gold per one uh, per coat or something? Pretty much nothing. Um, well, the ironworks would give us more tools. Just get the yeah, get the fortress up. That's fine. Yeah, that's okay. Muskets as well. Yeah, we're gonna have to transport those out pretty soon. I was thinking about transporting more timber into this colony. I mean, they are gonna need more. Ruben still needed a hundred guns, yeah, so we'll slide on up there. 
You're gonna wait. You are actually from Hoboken. Turn there and defend. Right, I was supposed to do something with Hoboken. Let's see if I can remember. We're gonna move our frigate close there. Let's see if that French frigate reacts. It'd be kind of sad if it did, to be honest, but... <laughs> because it would probably sink us. Quite probably. Um, there's plenty of food in this colony, but... Uh, not so many places where they can actually make a use for themselves here. Uh, well, there is some excess cotton. I suppose you could weave that, that's fine. Right, that was three new preachers. All the colonies up here have their three preachers. Paraiba does not. They have peasants instead. Okay, head towards Paraiba. And that's another cotton planter team. Yeah, we're gonna go put you guys. Where the heck am I gonna stuff you guys? Uh, the ones in the north, they're already done, I'm thinking. Right, Bonaire got theirs, yeah. The others aren't gonna plant cotton. Uh, you have to go out to the Great Plains somewhere. They're gonna find room for you, don't worry. I mean, Harlem, for, for example, yeah. Oh yeah, and they're building a college. Yeah, by all means, go to Harlem. If I can remember. Thank you for the money. Oh, converts. Well, it is another point. I shouldn't, I shouldn't be complaining. <laughs> I just need to find a room for them, that's the thing. And they produce less food, so they aren't as good anymore and I can't ever turn them over to free colonists. Free colonist number two is the best one, clearly. Um, wait for the next one after this. Harlem trading on the farmer. There's still more to be trained. In Utrecht, there are no more to be trained. Um, yeah, you go help the carpenter. So a theoretical score maximum is certainly possible. Uh, it would just take a lot of patience. More than I have, quite clearly. Um, yeah, what are we going to build? There's nothing much more we can make money out of here. We have all the industrial buildings. Uh, you... Wait a second. Oh, there we go, dry dockers. What's starting to wonder? Why I couldn't build a shipyard? That would be why. I don't have the dry dock yet. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And now you're just building for building's sake, right? Yeah. So again, I could build, could build, could build artillery instead, but... That would bleed mean units on the map, and that's not something we want. Second shipyard. No, no structures or anything would help us. I'm just gonna build a frigate. Frigates are nice fire and forget weapons once the <laughs> independence war actually starts, because they don't last long. They do not last long. The men of wars are, well, powerful, let's put it like that. Um, we can go make a road there. And a wagon train can go all the way around. You were headed to Paraiba. I'm just gonna switch you out before I forget it. Mm, you know what, I think I'm gonna send you guys out.
Yeah, there's actually one of you can sit here and sit there. Uh, can I see you bubble the food here? Actually, I probably could. Let's see. That's useful at least. Uh, Right, you can always go and help the fur trader. Let's find that. Uh, you guys were headed further west. Oh, another second team there. Um, Burbies were trading their own. You were done, right? Yeah. So don't need them in Burbies. Santa Catalina just got theirs, I think. Yeah, they're training up theirs. Uh, Saba ain't gonna do anything like that. Utrecht will need one cotton planting team. Suriname just got theirs. Okay, so you guys are head for, gonna head for Harlem. And the other guys are gonna head for Utrecht, I think. And then there's you. I'm lazy. Okay, so we're just going to put you into preaching and you go fishing. That's fine. It's going to cut away completely our food sur surplus here, but... Oh yeah, and dump the guns. Oh, no, never mind. Wait a second, I don't have a... Where's expansion here? You know what? Complete that. We're going to... Huh. Didn't pay attention to that. Stay there then, that's fine. Okay, so you got the road to Harlem. But if I move, you can't do anything else. Ah, oh, fine. Farm this square. Of course. At least it didn't move far. Uh, Paraiba, what else do I need to do here? Chop this square, yes. Chop, chop, chop. And you're definitely gonna fix some food tiles here. So we're gonna start with this one. Okay, now we have more people in New Amsterdam. Not much food here though. Not much food here at all. Port Nassau on the other hand has plenty of food, so go there. You too. I don't need two scouts. I would like to toss your horses somewhere, but... Uh... Nah, hell with it. Uh, we'll spoil the horses. We could even sell them. You know what? Horses, tools, muskets. Sell, sell, sell. Let's see. And... Uh, yeah, become a colonist. Clear your specialty. It should sell the goods before the spoil. So, it should be fine there. Um... I'm gonna try to start training excess elder statesmen at this point. Because they will at least have a function once you actually, de actually declare independence. Now, this guy. Um, we need quite a few more of these fur traders up in the uh, rur rural areas. Yeah, go to Utrecht. That's not the route I would have got chosen, but fine. Have we gotten past... No, we're getting closer to 2,000 score from citizens. 
probably on something like 100 turns too later than it, we should have reached that goal, but still. If we had fought with the Europeans, we'd have had way more pops. Since we would have stolen most of theirs. <laughs> oh well. Which is te technically still could. I mean, I could just run a walk down there and take their colonies, but... Uh, there wouldn't be a point in doing that at this, at this stage. It's too late. Because I really don't want to <laughs> defend all those colonies down there. Hmm. But again, it's one of those coulda, shoulda, woulda things. No, we weren't going to need another fur trader down there because of the food situation. I was starting to wonder about the uh, deer down there somewhere. But you already thought about that, didn't we? Um, yeah, fur trading post. Now you can dump guns. You actually produce tools, so kind of sad to do this, but okay. Right, this place is actually producing quite a lot of food. Even now. So, I could use another cotton team up here. Paying tons of gold for all the tools I haven't distributed. Okay, Bear Beast train another team. Oh, alright, let's see. Ah, dang it! Not you. I'm trying to get the farmer here. Move. Mine or ever. No, he's gonna produce a lot less cotton there, but that's okay. Uh, that's these three food squares. That's quite correct. You can leave Verbeese at this stage. And that should stabilize the food situation. We are going to make more food once we actually farm all the fields, but that's okay. Uh. Yeah, we trained that gunsmith. Okay, Fort Nassau, you're not going to sell all the excess goods anymore. Uh, not the horses, all the tools, all the muskets. I do wonder though, is there anyone else where I actually have to do that just to... Sell all the tools and get rid of them. Mm. Might be soonish. Uh, can you deliver? It should not spoil because it'll actually use 16 lumber right before the spoil happens. I think. <laughs> okay, this one definitely has to head homewards and help with the whole uh, gun and gun and tool situation. And you're now gonna head back to Europe and replace the one we just sent out of there. You're gonna go to Bahia. Deliver these two these guns.
Um, I can't start there. I'll start there first then. Make a road. Right, you were headed to... My goodness, where were you headed? Utrecht. And you're going to Harlem. And uh, whatever, also we deployed another team somewhere. And they're probably gonna head all the way up to Bonaire. Because we had room for one up there. Provide I remember. Yeah, but 2,000 points from citizens, that's okay. Right? So I think I'm gonna declare independence somewhere around 1725 at the latest. By then we should definitely have gotten enough score. And we're not generating as many colonists anymore because I've started switching around... Uh, ...how all that stuff works. And we've begun replacing them with money makers. Uh, all the way in here. Uh, you know what, get the college. Just so we have it. Hoboken increased in size. Yeah, just stay here. Get an education. Go to the, get the rum factory next. Yeah, we're still using food here, but that's not gonna last very long. So we're finally improving the fields here. We have a shop. Uh, da, 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 da. You know what? Get the college. Cotton planters, weavers, and quite a lot of other things going on here. Uh, that's what I was wondering if we would lock out, and we did. Chopped down the broadly forest and got a prairie square. No, actually, that's the other colony. Ah, not this one. Never mind. Never mind. Too many colonies. <laughs> Way too many colonies. Um, you're gonna be educated here, of course. And so is this little peasant here. Well, we are gonna have excess cotton, so why not? You can pretend to be a weaver. Yeah, textile mill. We're definitely gonna need that. Uh, let's see, uh, prairie. So many prairies. But none of them have been... Nothing here has been uh, plowed yet. Get the college so we can train more uh, fur traders. I don't think you can train them in schoolhouses, right? No. Had to check. Well, in that case, we can train him into a fisherman while, while we wait. Isn't gonna train anyone? Oh, they might train a few fur traders too. And where's this guy going? That's the guy I was going up to Utrecht, I think, so. We leave him be. Suriname! Finished their first re education campaign too. That's gonna be farmed on. as food, most certainly. So is this. Um, I probably am going to keep farming the prairie then, the uh, river one, and use the rest of you as regular cotton planters, yeah. Hmm. 
Maybe I should train one more team. We are gonna need more people out there on the prairie with these skills. Uh, sure. Let's do that. So clear the specialty of the preacher here. So that we have two of them. Then you might as well sit here and make food while we wait for the next batch. Okay. Um, right, you also need someone to process fur here. At some point. So yeah, they have to sell 1300 units of fur <laughs> to make up for the uh, cost of uh, buying the tools to build the fur factory. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I am wasting score, I think, by buying the, these things. But I'm impatient. Okay, nothing else here is gonna make me money. Nothing else here is gonna matter at all. So start building the fortress. But I'm not gonna give not gonna buy the tools for it. Trade another fur trader. Excellent. Evict them both. And sell these. Oh, not sell the guns, but Deposit the guns, there we go. The Sif has now plenty of new guns. So does Fort Nassau. So I need to get home. The closest tools are probably in this colony. Actually, no, there's only 50 tools, but... Well, uh, this is the closest colony with the uh, tool production. Might as well go there. Um, yeah, build a road there. I'm gonna cut travel time down a little bit. You were headed for Utrecht, I'm fairly certain. And here I can't re-educate to uh, cotton industry, so... Not yet, anyway. Not yet, but soonish. Um. Yeah. Make some fur, co fur coats, and that's probably what you guys should do too, actually. That at least will bring me money. Ah, dang it. Misclick. Made a misclick. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see if I can remember that you're gonna go all the way up there in the east. Most likely not. I'm gonna go to Fort Nassau. If I do that, I assume I'm gonna use every single tool to make guns. Now, it doesn't specify here. Doesn't specify it doesn't X out the tools the way it does everything else. Or it doesn't X out the ore either for that matter. Why doesn't it? Of course it won't X it out. X it out is because it's short of a resource. It will use all these resources. Right. Um So it had zero bubble on tools, that's not ideal. At least not until this colony produces nothing... Nothing useful. Um, okay, sit over there. That should produce some excess. Yeah. But at least now I, don't, now I know that I can switch over and just produce tons and tons and tons of guns. Which... Still cost a fortune in Europe. Oh my! Ouch! Okay, um... <laughs> Coats are now not worth it at all. Raw fur is equally worth the same amount of money. 
Okay, so there's no point in processing the fur at this point. I didn't know he could fall that far. I really didn't know. I thought I thought it capped out like four gold or something, but that's not the case. It can go all the way down to one. Oh boy. <laughs> that is kind of a downer. Uh, oh well. Okay, I think I'm gonna take a short break here too. Um, but I think we're reaching the end game. Uh, <laughs> definitely. So yeah, we probably are gonna declare independence war fairly soon. At, at, again, at latest 1725, probably before. But again, let me know if you want me to fight right, right now, I will. But for now, time for a break. Thank you for watching. <laughs>